Hi folks, G3 here. Welcome to another installment of my journey to go green. This video is a follow-up video to the one I did a couple of weeks back where I thought I had an issue with the eMMC card. This is the embedded multimedia card. Now this is a known issue that occurs with Tesla Model S and Model X that were built before March 2018, I believe the date was. The reason for making this video is just to follow up so that you know a few of the bits and pieces about it, a bit of information about how long it took and, and that sort of thing. So it took a lot longer than um, anticipated. I had read that it was sort of like um, an hour and a half, two hours for the fix. Now my appointment was 10 o'clock. We didn't get the car back until half past four. So it was six and a half hours later after the initial appoint uh, appointment was booked in. But they weren't able to access the car initially. So when I dropped it off, the receptionist was very insistent that they didn't need my key. The area was ring fenced, they were able to unlock the car, wouldn't be a problem. I was quite happy to leave it there and I probably should have done in hindsight because as it turns out, they couldn't access the car without the key. So Mrs G3 and I had um, walked to a nearby shopping centre to do some shopping and it was about I don't know, three quarters of an hour after the appointment had started that they phoned me to say they couldn't access the car, could have come and dropped the key off. So by the time I got back there, it meant there was about an hour's delay on them starting. So lesson number one, if you do go and drop your car off for this kind of work, make sure that you leave the key fob there as well, just in case, because um, they might insist that they will have access to the car, but they couldn't get into it um, without the key fob. So that caused a delay. So if they started about 11 o'clock, it was through till half four, roughly when I got it back. So five and a half hours for this. That did involve um, doing some firmware upgrades and downloads uh, and the like, but that time has to be factored in. So it took that long to do. The work was all great. Um, it was all fine in that I've got the screen back now and it's fully usable, but there were a few things of note. I did lose the profiles that I had stored on the car. So my profile and Mrs. G3's profile, which is where it takes into account the position of the seat, your preferences, so things like uh, whether the wing mirrors fold, the fact that I've got um, it doing the, the auto steer, um, things like that that I'd accepted before weren't known. So I've had to go and put those profiles back in. There was a little bit of um, uh, confusion when I first picked the car up because I went into reception and said these profiles aren't there. They um, understood that they should have been there with the um, release of the car so they said no we've we've gone and released the car from service mode so you should now have access to those that wasn't the case I've had to go and set them up again because they were stored on that EMMC chip I have also lost access to Spotify now I have gone and um, created a video about this before and I'll include a link up here on how I fixed it before that hasn't worked so basically it is doing the the reboot where you hold down the scroll wheels the buttons above and the brake pedal for a few seconds and it will reboot that hasn't worked at resetting it so currently um, let me just share this with you so this is what's seen when you're trying to log into spotify at the moment it is just trying to sign in and doing a constant wheel and that will keep on so basically i don't have access to spotify now i'm going to keep trying with the reboot and hoping that that fixes it. Uh, otherwise, I don't know what to try really. It's frustrating because Spotify is a big part of my audio entertainment uh, in the car. So listening to music, podcasts uh, and the like, that's, that's a big part of it. We also seem to have lost DAB. We've only got FM at the moment, uh, which is confusing because my understanding was that that went if you upgraded the MCU, so I had a different computer in there, you would lose the DAB part of it. The EMMC shouldn't have impacted that, that's my understanding. Um, but at the moment we don't have DAB either, it's just FM, which is, yeah, it's not good. Just a little update to say that a, another reboot has actually worked um, for the Spotify, so I've now got the login screen back available. So I should be able to log in, just gonna give that a go. Okay, I can confirm that worked. So I've been able to log in. So it was the reboot eventually, I think over the last few days, I've done it three or four times before it finally took effect. 
So that is a case of holding down the two scroll wheels and the two buttons above, as well as the brake pedal at the same time. And that will do a reboot of the computers. And then eventually that freed it up so that um, it came up with a Spotify login screen and I was able to log in to Spotify again. So at least that solved that problem. Um, other things that have occurred, well, because there was an, an upgrade to the software, um, off the back of it, we have also had some changes on screen. So now we have dual control for heating. So previously we didn't have that, but now we've got separate controls on the menu for heating. So Mrs. G3 and I can um, update ours independently. We have also got separate controls for the heated seats on each side now. So, um, so that's something we can do. Previously, we had other buttons that were visible on the main dash, but those have now been replaced by customizable buttons. So I've gone and put in the ones that we used to have, which were the front and rear screen heating. And also I've gone and popped in Spotify. So that's that's it pretty much. Um, it was all done under warranty, but the key things were it took a lot longer than anticipated. I say it was uh, approximately five and a half hours that you will lose your profiles that you've got on there. Yeah, um, that won't impact the ones you've got on your phone. Um, that profile remains and it's linked through to the car, but you will you lose your customizable settings on the car that you'll need to reset those. And also there's a potential to go and lose access to Spotify. Uh, I've also seemed to have lost DAB. And as a result, there's slight menu changes. So that's, um, that's it. Really, I just wanted to give you an update to let you know it all been fixed, but also for anyone else that's going through the issue so that you know what might happen off the back of it and as a result of it. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode and found it useful. If you did, then please click the like button down below. Um, leave your comments. Let me know whether you've also had this issue. And, uh, also, if you haven't done so already, then why not subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you get notified when I load up a new video. Well, thanks for watching, folks. Until next time. Bye.